Good morning and welcome to Learn Haitian Creole. Uh, today we'll be covering backyard, uh, which is laku in Creole. Backyard is laku and this was a special request. So it's important for you to know that a laku is not just a backyard. It's a courtyard. It's if there's an open area where there are lots of homes and everybody share the common area, that's a laku also. So grass is zeb or gazon, okay? Grass is zeb or gazon. Grass is zeb or gazon. Some differences to note is that zeb is usually referred to as the actual green grass, okay? So they can feed zeb to animals. So gazon is more of the landscaping of it, okay? So you would say don't walk on the gazon, um, but you wouldn't feed gazon to animals. You would feed zeb. A hose, okay? So a hose um, is caoutchouc, caoutchouc. Um, your car tire is also called a caoutchouc, caoutchouc machine. So a tree, okay, a tree is called pied bois, okay, tree is pied bois, a tree is pied bois. A leaf is fey, okay, leaf is fey. If you want to say fey bois, that's fine too, but a leaf is fey. So a front porch is galerie or galerie okay front porch is galerie or galerie most people will say galerie a fence is barrier or clothes okay barrier or clothes um but usually when people say barrier they're talking about the actual gate when you fence in your yard okay it's called barre, okay, barre, or clôture. You close it, okay. Fencing is barre or clôture. Bushes is rage, okay, rage. Bushes are called rage, or some people say ragbois. Bushes, rage, or ragbois. So a grill has two parts in Creole, okay? We have the ratio, which is the bottom, where you put your charcoal, which is charbon, and then you have the top, which is the gris. So again, there are two parts for the grill, okay? The bottom grill is called the ratio. That's where you put your charcoal, which is charbon, and the top is called gris. So grilled food is grillé or boucané, okay? If you grill corn, you say grillé maï or boucané maï. So you can also say grilled meat, okay? Grilled meat is viande grillé or viande boucané. So for a lawn chair that you put outside, you can call it just a regular chaise, okay? Or you can say cad, okay? I don't hear cad used often. Um, so for a lawn chair, you can say chaise. You can just say chaise, everybody understands chair. Um, or you can say cad, okay? Lawn chair is chaise or cad. A doorbell is sonnet, okay? Doorbell is sonnet, okay? Doorbell is sonnet, okay? The actual act of ringing the bell is sonnet, sonnet. A mail is courrier, okay? Mail is courrier. Mail is courrier. The actual act of going to the post office to mail something is called poste, okay? So to mail something is poste, okay? 
posti. The mailman is called facte. Okay. Mailman is facte. Okay. The mailman who brings you your mail is called facte. A mailbox is boîte postale. Okay. Mailbox, boîte postale. Mailbox is boîte postale. Rocks, okay, or one rock is called wash. Okay. A rock or rocks is called wash. Rock is wash. Swimming pool or just a pool is called piscine. Okay, you can have a piscine in your backyard. A swimming pool or just a pool is called piscine. And a garden is called jardin. Okay, the garden where you would plant your flowers is called jardin. If you plant food, it's also called jardin. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you were able to add new words to your vocabulary and you are now able to name items in your yard. Um, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like or comment. Merci encore. Um, Parce que nous avons regardé la vidéo, nous souhaitons lire de nous apprendre un uh, mot qui est dans la cour en anglais. Si nous avons des questions, n'hésitez pas à demander.